Hi everyone, finally I decided to make one video in English. I'll show my session flow, I'm going to show my editing Lightroom and Photoshop, and this session particularly with a natural light, um, but we're going to make a few more videos about studio light. Anyway, as you can see, the whole session um, kind of look chocolate brown. I like to use one color through whole session or maybe two here's you see the light one that's helped me this helped me to keep my session consistent and baby skin color kind of looking this look the same i figure out if i use a lots of colors for example if i'm going to use gray blue and my session will be all over the place and especially skin color with shooting natural light it's going to change all the time and then i don't like it uh, therefore with particular using natural light i like to keep my session in the same color i use uh, for editing first lightroom i don't know why I'm not using the Photoshop. I think I just started from Lightroom, but I don't think it's a, so much different in the interface. As you can see, I already marked all the good photos on the yellow, just to pick. It's going to be easy just to edit them later. Yeah, you need to go through all the images. And what I'm looking for is um, I want to make sure um, the image is sharp because I shoot really wide open 1.6, 1.4, 1.8 and sometimes the image can be out of focus. If I press a bit of yellow square, you can see all my images I picked from a session. And um, this is where I start my image from, uh, my session from. That's a uh, baby. I was attempt to do this pose, but baby wasn't asleep yet. Therefore, I cover with a little scarf and I start from this. Um, I've done a few, uh, few macro shots and later I went to the pose I really wanted, actually wanted in the first place, and I have all the food. And the next step with the head and move the foot a little bit over. You can switch the head if you want. Actually, I have a video on that session behind the scenes somewhere in the uh, YouTube. You can look if you really want to. Uh, I should really, really warm. I'm going to explain why I do that. Okay, if I open, uh, okay, let's do some very, very bright one. Okay, let's do with this one. Okay, sorry, this is because I look like it's really bright and really contrasty and saturated. But I figured for me it's easier to shoot very, very warm Kelvins. Um, usually, my camera setting is um, 1140, one, uh, one uh, and I shoot Nikon D4X, D4, 4DS. To be correct, um, and for me it's easy when I see the warm image, it's easy to cool it down. Instead, I will see, I will open a photo uh, Lightroom and see like image like this or very, very cold, which uh, make my uh, editing hard for, hard for me. Therefore, I'm staying in a really warm range. And you can uh, actually go through all those settings and see um, lots of photographers use Adobe Standard, which is I don't like. It's make my image kind of... Uh, I don't know, flat. I don't like it. I usually stay in Adobe Color, which is uh, fine fine with me. Actually, for editing, I'm using uh, NAC Monitor PA241W. This is my monitor for last, I think, six, seven, maybe ten years. I'm not sure. Anyway, if I open the image, I see this uh, bright, oversaturated, really warm photo. And uh, what I will do here, I'm just going to copy and paste all the settings from the previous images. It's going to just make it easier. I don't need to go step by step again, but you can see the flow. Um, I didn't touch the temperature. It's, I don't know, even I shoot what, uh, 7140, Lightroom always open my images with 6950. I don't know why. If you know, you can tell me. I changed the tint from plus 14, I believe it was plus 14, yep, I changed it to plus 4. Uh, what tint does, it's basically make your image more go to magenta or more to the yellow side. I use my action in, Lightroom, in Photoshop later and 
in order to use it the way I want, my image should be more to the green side. This why I keep it very low, but not too much, as you can see. I lower my exposure a, bit, a, a little bit. It was a, it was a zero, yeah, and I went all the way. So let's see to minus one nineteen to make it uh, not that bright. I work with the highlights. I if you go this way, like if you go down, you see it's so get like like look like a doll almost like I don't like that and I don't I don't like it keep like on the zero I like my highlights a little bit to stand out especially uh, with this baby it wire on the baby to baby it depends what baby look like I'm not always in the same settings but for this baby it's work uh, clarity plus five I'm never going over five usually keep it is it between three and five and saturation minus seven and this is my favorite tool it's a curve I usually use it just to light the image a little bit yes I lower my exposure and I work my curves up and this is what I like the curve and if you look down I do not touch any of those settings very rare I would play with this um, camera calibration but it's very rare and as you see all my session on the brown chocolate backdrop and right now all the settings uh, all editing I've done to this image I could just crop and paste to following image and they're pretty much all the same as you see like virus sometimes it's brighter because it's a natural light if I see it's too much of a saturation or it's too saturated I just lower it more to dim it down a bit. Uh, next I'm going with a light. This is a light backdrop. I'll show you what it was before. That's the image. But here is like almost no different. And as you see and my editing wasn't wasn't a lot. Yeah. I cool it down a bit. Yes, as you see the temperature it was 6950. Like I said it's always for some reason it's make this number. I lowered to 60, 60, 6.43. I, I left the teen plus 14 because for this image it's work and I didn't touch exposure, contrast, highlights, nothing here. I just put the clarity plus 4 and saturation minus 3. That's about it. And you see all the images that the, on the light backdrop, they are the same. And all in a brown, it's a little different brown. You, as you see, I shot in this backdrop and later I brought that a little, little bit of a different texture. Yeah, that's uh, all I've done to this, uh, this session. And right now, um, I'm going to open that image in... Um, actually, it's really good. It, as you see, it's, it's good to go. I don't think you need... To do a lot because this baby was with a perfect skin uh, skin tone has no um, acne or skin like peeling on the face the light was perfect through the session it was very sunny day all I've done I put the, I put the um, ripstop on the, on my window and that's about it if you like more uh, shadows on that side of the baby you just move your beam back uh, further away from the window if you like more light on the baby face just move it closer to the window if you like light to it's going to down head down down yet yeah, your head should be a little bit more laying like parallel to the beam bag if you like split lighting when it's that side of the face has more light than other side of the face just tilt the head more up it's all you should all you need to know like for example here you see the face is more up and you see the more the shadow on that side but I don't like too much of a shadow therefore uh, the baby wasn't that far away from the window but you can play around and move it and I think it's gonna work uh, let's uh, let's play with it doesn't matter which mean what picture I will open this or this one they're all kind of the same I will save this one and uh, sorry it's Russian I'm gonna put in English photo and I'm gonna choose uh, and let's take a look very close you see it's perfect 
Well, like, when you when you shoot wide open, if you look here, it may have 1.8. I don't like those images shot, uh, to shoot those kind of images in 1.4 because the feet are getting way too blurry and they look like a mermaid foot. Uh, feet, I don't really like it. And um, I like those ones. I can shoot with 1.4, like you see, it's 1.4. But this one is 1.8, is fine, fine to me. Um, all I'm gonna do with I'm just gonna clear out all those flakes and dots. It's not a lot of them when you shoot with this wide open. Usually skin looks pretty clean and nice. And I very rare have baby with like a very, very bad skin. I'm getting lucky. Okay, I clear all this. You can use a few different ways to do it. You can just uh, go around, uh, hit the um, Backspace and Content Aware, press OK, and the Photoshop will decide what to put instead of that little flake on my baby skin. That's done. I think that's good enough. Perfect. Um, I usually I, I like the cropping. I like everything else. My blanket looks fine. Maybe here a little bit of a corner need to be fixed. It's easy to fix with Content Aware. Just go around and hit, hit the Backspace button and just delete it. Perfect. Um, as it is, it's a really good image. I don't think uh, you can stop here or you can do some editing. And I very, very like and adore this action from Kelly Ryden and Tracy River. I'm going to link it below, but I modified a little bit to my taste because if you're on the action as it is, I'll show you how it's going to look like. And I don't really like it. In, for my images, yeah, it's kind of look weird. You need to do a lots of adjustments, um, and it's uh, I look I like more contrasting pictures. I'm gonna delete that, and if I'm gonna run my action, that's the same action, but I got few um, things with it. I modified it uh, to my taste. This is how it's gonna look. I love it, and the key if you go all the way up and hit that second layer is the, you're gonna have that beautiful bright or uh, editing which is that you can work with and um, i will probably turn off all this um, layers and bring one by one to see what i like actually this this you get when you hit the second layer from the top you can get it from the original action yeah that's not the modified this is original action has has this I'm gonna leave like 10% here, it's too saturated to my taste, I'm gonna leave 5% here, um, this one I'm probably gonna leave like 10% in here, and soft gold, I will probably, yeah, like it, I will leave it, and I'm gonna put them into the same folder, on, off, you see, love it, and probably the only thing I will do to the image, if I would like to leave it as it is, I'm gonna go to curves and just bring the, that black up a bit, just to make sure it's not too dark, I would say. And this is my before, and this is my after. Uh, looks pretty good, you can do vignette afterwards, but it's already perfect. I'm gonna save this one and I'm gonna show you the action I actually made for myself and how I'm working with it, with it and what my editing is. Basically, basically when I hit the button, action, it played the action, but in, inside you see I modified it a lot and I usually go to the dreamy rose layer and I bring it to the 5% and brown tone I bring to the 20% and this is exactly going to be my editing that's before and my after if I see it's too much red in it and I want to work with it you can just add it more like go down to dreamy rose layer and just bring it down to the three if you if I don't like too much like a magenta in it back and yeah like it and i probably uh, lower the opacity to 80 percent perfect i don't need to do much uh, skin smoothing because the skin already looks pretty smooth when you shoot like wide open and i don't really need more oh i forgot i play i done all this editing in the skin and i just went back and i lost it all yeah it happens anyway this i will do and next step i like to 
um, make my shadow like the shadows um, more soft I have my action I created for myself uh, I'll show you how it's work and you create your own you can create your own and use it okay here we go that's it what I've done here I create a solid color layer from that palette like solid color and I picked like for example this color yeah I use a different one you see that's I'm gonna delete this one I use this color and I um, bring uh, the white mask and right now if you click to that spot on your layer double click you're gonna open that window and you can see what area I actually to what area actually applied it action or that color this is right in here if you want to see I can raise my opacity just to show as you can see the most of the color affect just the shadows and a little bit of the mid-tones but it does not apply to highlights I'm gonna bring it down to five you go back and forth you see you still have this contrast in the image but your shadows are very muted and subtle I love it I'm gonna white to those layers you can make your own action and it's fine and what about vignette I love it I create a layer just empty layer and I pick any color from the image wherever I like oh that's the corner let's uh, let's need to fix again that corner good and I pick the color usually it's a closer to the edge right here and I put it all over the image and now I bring opacity to 80% and I'm getting that here the tool and just circle around the baby and I press delete button right now I have the vignette it's very dark you can go to hue saturation just make sure that you click right in here you hold your alt key and click with the left button with your mouse right here and wherever you're gonna do with that vignette is gonna work just on just on that particular layer I want to make it a little bit yellowy I'm gonna make I'm gonna bring the opacity or saturation a little bit more up and I want to make it a bit lighter basically here you can um, get any color you want to your vignette you can lower your saturation up saturation just to make it work with your image and adjust to your taste okay and next I'm gonna take erase tool for 100% and I want to make sure I have nothing on the baby first let I bring it down to 10% and I'm gonna start wiping it around like this just in here I don't want this too much okay and I always go back and forth make sure it looks nice yep that's yeah that's about it perfect and this is my editing let's look at before and my after and one after before like we the that where is the I don't know where is my I did one before when I save okay it's few different styles we tried today but you can just look back and see this before and this is my after I think that's very good and right now we're gonna look at the light image the one with okay right in here let's do this one I'm gonna put it in the same folder okay this looks perfect I'm gonna save it and we're gonna open this one okay um, again um, I see I want to fix that roundness I want to make it more round I'm gonna go to liquify tool one of my favorite I'm gonna just go like this and make it more round put 
perfect. Just don't make it too round because it's going to look weird. I usually keep like more here, like not too skinny in the top. And then make sure those layers look perfect. Look perfect. Yeah, I think it's good. I love it. Um, the skin looks nice. Okay, right now look at the skin. The skin is uh, really red. How to get rid of the red? I duplicate the layer and I go to Hue Saturation and I get the red. I'm going all the way to the left and this is my red right in here. You see the red pops out with the, that blue color and right now I just double click you see zero and right now you can go with like one point or you want to go to two depends how how much redness you want to remove from the image. You see that's too green therefore two is fine and I lower the saturation a little bit maybe by two and lightness up by two okay and right now I can look back and forth you see the red is gone which is like easy I know it's so many actions out there uh, to fight this red but I find out this I kind of I have more control over and I'm not getting so many babies with this kind of red skin I think it was really warm already at the end of the session he was kind of fussing a little bit this is why he get this a little bit red face okay uh, if I think it's too much I can lower the opacity yeah that's good I'm gonna leave it and now again I'm going to same action I show you the from Kelly and Tracy and this is how it look like and I know I'm going again to dreamy rose layer and I bring it to 5% and I'm gonna go with brown tone and bring it to 20% I think I'm gonna reduce even more right here and maybe to like 2% go back I'm going back and forth I see it's way too much I want the image be too like a brighter I'm gonna go to 50% here and yeah I like it it's very nice and very warm image and if I want to work with my shadows like before I made this um, action you saw it like my shadows right now became really really settled if you go back and forth it's the same kind of uh, action I use on all of the images if I don't like that color I can click here and choose any color from the picture but make sure it's very very light or you have to go like increase your opacity um, you see it right now I use like a brown one uh, but here I would probably use like tan but yeah I like my blue or my purple kind of I think looks cute on that image done my vignette I usually use in all my images here I see the dark corners I don't want to emphasize my dark corners I'm gonna pick some light color from here and put over the image again opacity 80% I'm going with my tool and erase the middle with the baby delete you see it's very very light and right now uh, with erase tool I go with a hundred percent on the baby again 10% and I'm going all around the baby and again if you want to change the color you go with hue saturation make sure it's set to affect just this layer and if I'm, I want to make it a little bit more probably on that side and bring more saturation make a little bit darker okay I liked it more and I'm gonna work back yeah not lots of editing I do to my pictures but I like it I think this looks nice and if I go bef I'm gonna show you before and after before and after I, I like it it's really subtle the colors are pretty and uh, baby's nice and if I open up another image like this one 
the baby's skin is matching to this image. This was exactly talking about. Make sure when you're editing all your session, the baby's skin from one image to another one look the same. Because if you want to deliver the album, if you have all the, diff all the different backdrops, if you're natural light shooter, it's going to be so much harder to keep that consistency in the tone of the baby skin. I hope you like this video. Uh, leave your comments below. And if you want to purchase um, Action, I think it's $20. I leave the link below to Kelly and Tracy where I purchased it for $20. And if you have any questions, just leave your comment below and I will answer. Bye-bye.